junk and food over here in Portville. Well, it's been probably an hour or so, maybe two hours. I got back from the scrapyard. I got that, uh, well, most of it, pipe out of there, um, processed somewhat. So I cut that uh, light off, and I just got it down to manageable pieces. Some of that I've already got two foot. I just used a cutoff saw here. And I got the wire out of it. Quite a bit of copper wire on my extension cord. Just kind of tangled around the bottom there. Some good thick stuff in there. So that come out of these things. There's a pile of uh, aluminum wire right there. Um, I think the prices are pretty good. I'll process it. And these I think are like cast aluminum. They got copper and I'll get that out and clean this. I usually use my shear on this to break them into pieces. I have done with a screwdriver and the pipe wrench and everything, so I just usually chop the ends off. This is a real small layer there. Get a little bit of copper. So these I think are cast aluminum, except for the ends here. This one, this one's got some nice copper in it. Got to pick these that clamp there off, and that'll come right out. And the rest of that'll probably go. Might be a little light for two foot. And there's my aluminum wire I uh, cut out. I'll, I'll strip that actually. The price is pretty good. And that's pretty thick. So. so I'm putting my lights in here. And the transformers. This is in that stuff we just got. Pretty so pretty good size uh, trash can there. So there's three or four of them big ones in there. And the transformers. I did take in some electric motors and we got that pail of copper there too. It's pretty loose in there, small copper. That come out of this stuff. And got a little bit here. So yeah, I was saying before that I was going to try to take a $500 or $1,000 load in and I just thought, you know what, I got this stuff. I'm tripping over it. I may as well just get it processed and take in a hundred or two or try to shoot for a hundred dollar load each time or better so today and this some of this came from the electrician these ballots ballast 401 pounds uh, 15 cents a pound and come to six sixty dollars and fifteen cents and the aluminum wheels uh, but I have 179 pounds, I guess. 75 cents a pound. Them come to 134.95. Two pounds a sheet, 90 cents. Uh, something was 280, 14 cents a pound, 20 pounds. That was actually a starter was uh, or an alternator with a big old chunk of aluminum, so I didn't get. Electric motor price for that, I probably should have took it off. But and then the 44 pounds would have been ballast that they said would only go as 10 weight. That's 170 a ton. I was gonna bring them home. I know some of them got a little bit of copper in them, but so that was three dollars and 74 cents. And electric motors 24 cents a pound. That was some stuff I had over here. I threw on the load. 25.44 total value is. Two hundred and twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So yeah, I'm not gonna. I have done that before, taking in sixteen, seventeen hundred dollar loads, but I figure I'll just process and move it. I still got a lot that we just picked up. All them fuse boxes. Um, I'll get this. I'll bring the wire strip out here and strip this down and get it. Ready to go in that all And this I just figured I, I usually don't cut it down with a cut off wheel, but I thought I would today. Actually if you just let the machine do the work, them wheels last quite a while. I sometimes I'll take it in and shear it up, but I'll get it down to two foot and I'll just I think what I'm gonna do is get my dump truck out here and start throwing a bunch of two foot. I got some rear ends of stuff out back that's in the trail I cut up that I want to get out of there for winter. I want to open my trail up so I can circle around with that trailer. 
and there's some uh, lawnmower engines out there I need to take in 14 cents a pound just get rid of them so yeah thought I'd do an update on the price of that I see so much stuff sitting alongside the curb and sometimes if I don't get it I'll go by a couple days later and it's still sitting there so sometimes I grab it and sometimes I just figure I got so much around it it'll be, be piled up there's a piece of aluminum well, that's the trash barrel there that's the stuff that I keep missing when I go to throw it so yeah this has got a lot of cast aluminum on most of this here it all adds up well, just a quick video thanks for stop thanks for stopping by Portville hey go find some junk or not bye bye now